The Airbus A380 is one of the most comfortable and passenger-friendly aircraft in commercial aviation. Since its debut with Singapore Airlines in 2007, the A380 has been carrying large numbers of passengers worldwide. In its early years, many international airlines eagerly ordered and operated this super jumbo jet. It was supposed to be the future of aviation, along with the mega hub strategy. However, as fuel prices rose and demand decreased on many routes, the A380 became less economical for most airlines. Many airlines were struggling to find destinations where there was enough demand to fill the giant planes with a lot of premium class seats. The situation dramatically worsened with the COVID-19 pandemic, which significantly reduced travel demand and led many carriers, such as Thai Airways or Air France, to quickly retire the four-engine aircraft. Others, including Qatar Airways and Lufthansa, stored them for the foreseeable future with the possibility of never using them again. But then we come to Emirates, one of the world's most renowned airlines. As of 2024, it operates as much as 116 super jumbos and plans to use them until around 2040. What makes the Dubai-based carrier so committed to the Airbus A380? The first reason is geography. Dubai is located almost in the middle of the world. Flying from here non-stop to Los Angeles, Auckland, and Sydney is possible. Dubai is also a perfect transfer point for travels between Europe, America, Asia, as well as Australia. Not to mention that Dubai is always in the first five of the most visited cities in the world. It creates enormous passenger flows and demand for flights, and Emirates is taking advantage of it. Thanks to this, the airline has a unique and very successful business model, where there is one hub where passengers transfer from one long-haul flight to another long-haul flight, without many short feeder flights. In 2003, before the airline received its first A380, Emirates chairman Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum said that A380s are the best solution for the increase in capacity, range, and economy that we need to satisfy our rapid passenger growth and ever-expanding network. So Emirates didn't have any problem with filling such a large plane, while other airlines were struggling to do it. The second thing is Dubai Airport itself. It is located in the middle of the city without any major expansion possibilities. So taking into account the huge demand for flights mentioned before, Emirates had to find a solution that will allow the airline to continue its growth. For example, the airline itself doesn't have any narrow body planes and operates a fleet of 143 wide body Boeing 777s and 116 A380s. Dubai International Airport is also an ideal base for A380 operations due to an impressive number of around 50 A380 capable gates. In comparison, airports such as Bangkok, New York, or Frankfurt have significantly fewer F-code gates. Terminal 3, which is the Emirates terminal at Dubai Airport, has even been designed especially to accommodate the A380. The third reason is the scale of operation. Most airlines have or had only a few A380s. For example, Air France only used 10 of them, Lufthansa 14, Qatar Airways 10, Thai Airways 6, and British Airways 12. Those low numbers make operating A380 much less profitable, as the airlines can't take advantage of economies of scale. Having a handful of jets of one type is more expensive as the costs of having separate maintenance, spare parts, and qualified technical personnel are divided between fewer units. A subfleet of 10 aircraft will never be economical for a large airline. Not to mention the situation when an airline has to change aircraft type due to technical problems and doesn't have a replacement plane of the same type, it is a true nightmare for passengers and staff. The large number of A380s made the aircraft not only a flagship, but also a backbone of its fleet for Emirates. Due to this, the Dubai carrier made numerous investments in the super jumbo cabins. For example, in 2022, the airline announced the biggest retrofit program, which includes the installation of the newest premium economy class in the airline planes. Other cabins, including first class, will also be refreshed to maintain the highest comfort and quality for passengers. Due to this, retirement can't be expected as the airline wouldn't invest so much in an aircraft that will soon leave the fleet. The final reason is aircraft delivery delays. 
when Boeing announced the 707X program during the Dubai Air Show in November 2013, the manufacturer promised that it would deliver the first aircraft in 2020. However, multiple delays followed, including issues with the GE-9X engines and certification issues with the Federal Aviation Administration and other regulators. This year, Tim Clark, the president of Emirates, shared that the airline might not receive its first of 205 ordered Boeing 777X aircraft until 2026 at the latest, indicating another potential delay to the program. The six-year delay of the 777X delivery forced Emirates to redefine its strategy and keep A380s for a longer time. In 2024, the airline will also finally take delivery of the Airbus A350 and a year later, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. However, they will not replace the Super Jumbos, but rather make the route network expansion possible. As you heard, there are multiple reasons why Emirates uses so many A380s and why the airline still invests in this aircraft when all other airlines retire them. The combination of multiple factors, such as geography, Dubai airport location, and the significant scale of A380 operation will make Emirates committed to the Super Jumbo for a long time. So it's good news for aviation enthusiasts as they don't have to hurry to fly this engineering masterpiece. That's all for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment to see more aviation videos.